Hey everyone, just looking back at the, um, I guess, the previous section with, yeah, we were supposed to go north? Yeah, north. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I did spend way too much time on puzzles, trying to figure them out when have the guide right here with me. At the same time, like, I just, I want to give it a shot, like, at solving it myself. You know what I mean? Huh, how does this work? Uh, wait, um, yeah, let's, let's change this up. Let's experiment for a bit. At least I've, like, we could say, like, I've, ga I've gave this, um, this puzzle a fair shot. Because, like, yeah, the puzzle is just right here. Um, yeah, what the, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, um... What the... Okay. Ah. That is strange. Okay, um... Are we resetting this? Wait. What is this? Does this do anything? No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, alright. So, okay. I, I won't give up just yet. Um... Oh, hold... Damn it. Alright, wait, wait. I think... Is this... Alright. Oh! Alright, gotcha. Gotcha, okay. Because I know those, um, those stone, uh, statues up there, they could be damaged. So, yeah. Alright, you just use these, um, these water jars just to damage the whole thing. That's fine. Although, uh, yeah, I think I should throw it from a neutral, uh, yeah, from neutral. So not pressing any button, so, yeah. Instead of, um, pressing up. So it would give more, it would give it more distance at this point. Yeah. There you go. Is this is the sword that we got? Is it colored gold? Right? It's gold, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's a little hard to... Wait. Yeah, it, it's just... No, wait. Wait, we can get a better view. Ah, it's a golden sword. Yeah, alright. Oh, that's why they call it the shining sword. Um, do I just take care of you? Whatever. Oh dang! All right. Wait, what if I just do this? Right? Yeah. That's it. I I that I just made it too comp. Yeah, I made it too difficult on myself on that one. Alright, uh, this is a key. Yeah. So, this is just basically two, um, two dungeon sections in one, right? Yeah, this is, that's our key over there, so let's see. At least, uh, that's a... I see. Then, and then you... Aha! Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Wait, is this, um... Yeah, I think I'm not... I'm not supposed to take out that, um... That last one over there. That last, uh... Earth statue over there. So... You're done. Got it. Okay. Okay. Uh, I can't jump here, right? So oh, this is gonna be super weird. Uh. Oh, I'm gonna need you. Okay. Okay. I got it. We got it. We got this. I remember it's what was it? I think it's the pirate. Um. God, it's the pirate area where I just had to stack, stack these like a. 
like a madman. Wait, uh, does this does this mean I have to? Wait, um, let's see. Okay, is it this? Aha, no, that, well, from a standing position, yeah, there's no way for me to get up there. Wait, can I do it from here? Right, um, it's right here. Can I, wait, can I pick you up? No, I can't. Like, yeah, there, that's, that's the, um, the actual, the actual solution there. Back here, there. I think last week, like, I kept ranting to my friends and, and to my friends that are watching this, I do apologize. But yeah, this game has just been frustrating to play. I last time, like I, I left out a thought, um, a thought where I said, um, if this game introduced like new elements to puzzle solving, like in the gradual, like gradually, like I'd complain. But I'd have less of a problem with problem <laughs> problem with it. You know what I mean? Uh, are these two different sizes? It's hard to tell. Okay, fuck it. I'm gonna read a guide. So I think a game that ha that's done that well, like in terms of gradual difficulty, is Klonoa for the PlayStation. And uh. Or do I jump from here? Okay, let's let's check that out. Like, there's this, right? So let's put you here. I'm not. Yeah, at least it's a little more conveniently placed, right? Then here. Okay. Uh, no. Damn it! It's the controls again. Like that game that Klonoa has like introduced, like it made it difficult, like especially with the last two or three levels. But like it, the game has trained you to a point where it's like second nature to you. Let's just uh, yeah, lock this. Yeah. So by the time you uh, and I hope I hope this is it. Okay. Okay, there. Uh, I'll do this first. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, and then I'll need you. That's a. That's as high as I could take this. I, I don't know how to um, explain. Clonoa, because basically, like, it works on, like, double jumps and using enemies to pull off, uh, quadruple jumps, or no, triple jumps, I'm sorry. So, especially there's just one where there are, like, this, like, four or five floating enemies, and you have to, con when you consume an enemy, you have an option for another, for a mid-air jump, so... Double jump becomes triple jump becomes quadruple jump be becomes uh, penta jump. <laughs> yeah, if that's the term. And it it's difficult, especially like you know it's the latter part of the game. But the game has done such a masterful job of like. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? Wait. Oh, am I supposed to crush you? Uh, I have no idea if I hit, can I hit this? No. This is confusing. I 
I see. Okay. Uh. Oh no. There you go. Okay. Yeah. That quacking sound is just annoying. And speaking of games that I would have played. Speaking of Klonoa, I would have played Klonoa to start off this channel. Uh, why didn't I go with Klonoa? Um, one is, uh, it, it may be sad. It's really sad. Um, wait. I will. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Okay. Up here. Like the ending, like made me legit cry. Okay. Um. Then. I see. Uh. How? How is this? I'm just supposed to hit that, right? That's my guess. If I take this down, no. Oops. Ooh. Did I need that la that first one? I don't, I, I don't... Yeah, I do. Okay. Okay. Alright, we got it. We need to get that, um, that jar and hit it with, um... Get that jar and hit the switch up there. And Klono was like that one game that made me so sad. Like it, that game lives rent free in my mind at times. Cause like, not only like is it the first game that I played on the PlayStation, like, huh? Do I? Uh, I'm I'm not gonna be able to jump that. Right? No. Okay, what if I need... What if I use uh, this? Aha! There we go. Okay. Okay. Uh... Okay. I don't get why the, um... Why that jar is there, but okay, fine, well... Oh, no, no, I'm just gonna throw it there. But, like, Klonoa is the first game... Damn it. That, um... That convinced me to get a PlayStation 1 in the first place. See, I was in this, uh, mall... When I, you know... When I was of that age, and I think... The PlayStation was barely over a year... Since it released. Will this... Will this... I really can't tell, so I'll just. Oh yeah, it did. It does work. Uh huh. Oh shit! Wait. Mm. I should have given myself a bit of leeway. I don't think this will. Uh... Yeah, no, it won't work. And in the mall, they were playing. Uh, you know, they don't have like actual playable demos for customers to play so they just had the game's uh, demo mode on loop so you just get to see like the same gameplay over and over right and I saw Klonoa and I thought it was wow it's like what it's a 2d you know it was 2.5d but it was actually 2d wow oh, damn it 2d with um it had 2d sprites in front of a 3D background, right? And yeah, I don't think I need this, right? Or do I? I mean, okay, yeah. And so yeah, that that convinced me that yeah, like I should really get that game. I'm not. Yeah than this so let's hope <laughs> no wrong way damn it 
go. Oh, right there. Barely just made it. This game, like, at this point needs, like, a, uh... Let's see, like, let's see if I could hit that, um, that left side of the platform so I could stand on it. Okay. Alright, you, if you're wondering why I'm having such difficulty with, um, with these jumps is, like, look at this. They're not really, the, this, um, gold or this earth statues not really lined up that well with the other so you may need to do some mid-air adjustments no now i don't know why i've lined it up pretty well why not oh come on wait 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 a sec oh Okay, alright, well, that was weird. I was able to make it from this end. Yeah, maybe I need a, a running start of sorts. I don't really trust this game's um, input, so... Wow. Let me through, guys, please. Why am I having trouble with just one jump? That's super weird. Okay, alright, whatever. Ah, shit! Okay, I don't- Oh man, I have to do that again. Oh, let's try from this angle. Somebody, uh, I'm not sure- I forgot what video it was, but, uh, um, I think it was- It was one of the speedrun channels, and they were talking about, um, Fuck. They were talking about how Doom, like the latest Doom, I think, is it 2016? Oh, uh, Doom Eternal. They're talking about how, like, how Doom Eternal is just so optimized for st speed running. And why I'm, I'll, you'll see why I'm talking about Doom, right? Um, Doom is in first person, so as the character, as Doom guy, you cannot see your legs, so you don't know how to. Yeah, I guess I guess you can see now where I'm gonna go with this um you can't see your legs so you're not sure how to time your jump so it'll be un not as precise but what doom has introduced is sort of ah, damn it okay no 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 I'm I'm not <laughs> I'll just reset this I I think it's better off that I um I throw this uh, barrel in a better spot. Oh no. Uh, let's put this here. Okay. Alright, well, that's uh, convenient. You. Ouch. Okay. And so, for Doom Eternal, what the developers introduced is sort of like a, um... They extended the, uh... The platform's, uh... What is the term fucking hell? Uh... Okay, there you go. No need this. Okay, so for Doom Eternal, they they um they they sort of like extended the hitbox for um for platforms, right? And okay, here. Okay, there we go. Ah, shit. Which in essence, like, since you can't see your legs and how to time your jumps, like, the game has given you a bit of a 
a bit of a leeway. No, okay, all right, that's a little too far then. So it's I I have to um do a short throw then, right? Yeah. Oops. There we go, okay. This should be easier, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, and then now we got you. God, I hope this works, man, like... Oof! Oh, oh man. Okay, alright, so that, this is a short throw, and then this will need a long throw, alright. So as such, like when you try jumping in the, uh... oh, I overshot that. Uh, so if you try jumping in Doom Eternal, it's like there's a bit of the game gives you, uh, I don't know, it it's user, it's more user friendly, and and so like I think the video goes on to talk about how like manipulating those um those hitboxes for platforms benefits the speedrunner, but. That's all I can think of when I see, like, this. Hey you, you made it to the end of the video. Good job! Well, a better job than what I've been doing. If you'd like more disappointment, check out these links. This is so